Something we, I took away from this cohort was that our student population is very different, and even different now from two years ago before the pandemic. There's a whole new set of things that we need to take into account, and there are practical tactics we can use to work with them. One of the really nice things about TII is it's given me this space to really collaborate with others and think and reflect on my teaching. And I think that reflection has helped me think about not only what I'm doing in the class, but how the students perceive what I'm doing in the class. And it's really improved my teaching. The Teaching Innovation Institute, or TII as we call it, uh, is an interdisciplinary uh, learning community made up of a cohort of faculty uh, from across uh, campus. We lead that cohort through a two semester long experience that includes workshops, it includes uh, small group collaboration, discussions, inquiries to look for ways of innovating uh, their teaching. There are a lot of instructors all across UK that are asking the same questions about the challenges that exist in our classrooms by getting them together in a group where they are chasing after answers to the same questions or brainstorming solutions to the same challenges uh, in teaching and learning. They can build relationships and, and possible partnerships where they can solve problems together. We, we always say we're faculty driven at CELT and we like to kind of practice a sort of constructivist mentality where we bring our perspective as a teaching center with the perspective that we have working with the colleges in order to foster the inherent expertise and experience that all of our faculty and instructors bring to the activities that we put on. Uh, it really makes you feel less vulnerable to try and try new things. And so I think this Teaching Innovation Institute has really provided a boost in trying to guide you in a way saying that, hey, you know, you're not there 100%, it's okay to be at 20%, and there's a lot to try within your classes, and uh, they're gonna be there to support you to succeed, even if you fall backwards. One of our um, assessments that we did this year, we had the students write, get in teams and write a clinical case, um, versus us writing the clinical case ourselves and then presenting it to the students. And I already received a lot of feedback that the students found that very meaningful, that they learned more about the diagnosis than they would have with the PowerPoint being on the screen. Um, I definitely think the community is a community that I would not have met just randomly being on campus. So um, I appreciate that we have all been tied together. We need to be seeing our students really as unique individuals, each with different learning styles. Some of the tools that we've learned about and some of the technologies and resources uh, have really helped me to understand kind of all the different avenues for learning. Um, moving forward, it's really kind of testing those and determining what will work best both for me as an educator but also then for our students. There is just such a wealth of knowledge across this campus and what's fascinating to me is that we're all having the same challenges. I mean whether someone's in math or law or nursing it really doesn't matter. And I looked forward to the sessions where you could talk to people across campus and start you know, just exchanging ideas. We need to do more of that. I liked the structure of the workshops. There was always something to start the conversation, but enough space for that conversation to kind of naturally go where it needed to go. So I ended up taking an assignment and just tweaking it a little bit by adding some choice boards. That was one of the workshops we had done. It was like that little tweak, that little tactic, clarifying what the expectation is and we just peeled away their anxiety about what do I do, what do I do. It was shocking. I had left time in class for questions and, and I didn't need it. They all knew what to do. The resources that are provided, the knowledge that is gained um, is just really invaluable and I think it's important to step back and reassess how we approach uh, pedagogy and how we can ensure that we are considering all the different learning styles of our students. I don't feel like there's enough spaces on campus where people are really taking the time to reflect on their teaching and reflect on what options there are out there and TII allows us to do that. I think a lot of faculty, you know, they want to explore new ways to teach and new things to do in the classroom, but we're all so pressed for time that it's so hard to fit that in. So we're not just leading 
training programs, we're trying to foster a space where people can actively collaborate and together as a group, take our institution to that next level in terms of our teaching mission. Pretty much any faculty member uh, thinking about any particular challenge uh, in, their, in their teaching can get something out of TII. So you don't have to come in thinking about one particular strategy or one particular problem. Uh, it's it's open-ended and we, we lead it in a way that allows you to chase your own questions. And so any faculty member who's thinking thoughtfully about their teaching, who's interested in, in collaboratively looking at alternative uh, or new pedagogical strategies would find something of value in that process. The theoretical framework uh, that uh, often underpins the stuff we do in TII can range from critical pedagogies to digital pedagogies uh, to inclusive pedagogies and so there's pretty much something for everyone in TII.